Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohanath Nari. Now we are the discussion for the topic Time Series Analysis in R Studio. What is Time Series Analysis? Time Series Analysis TSA is a statistical technique that analyzes data point collected or recorded at specific time intervals. The primary goal is to understand patterns over time such as trend, seasonal effect and cycles and possibly forecasting future value based on the past. The time series sequence of observations taken at regular time interval example daily, monthly, yearly. Examples for the time series analysis daily heart rate measurement, monthly bird migration count or yearly frog populations level. The stimulate time series data set frog po population monitoring. It stimulates monthly population count of a frog species is a wetland over 5 years 60 month. This is commonly used in ecology and conservation biology. The data set descriptions, the variable 1, we take for the two variables, for variable 1, month from January 2020 to December 2024. Then variables to the frog count, the number of frog observed, includes trend, example for long time increase and seasonality example for breeding peaks in springing so open the data set so this is the data set we take for the month january 2022 december 2024 and the every month count for the frog count this is the variable 2 so open the r studio software Okay, the time series analysis total three important packages for analyzing in R Studio. The first one for the GG plot, the second one for the forecast, third one for the T series. So three library package I already installed. So the directly active for the library in first one for the GG plot two. And the next one, the library package is for the forecast. So the third one package is for the T series. So the now imported for the time series analysis data set. So go to the import the data set from text reader then click to the browse button and select to the frog populations time series select the file and click to the open button and import the options so imported our data for the frog population time series in R studio so the next for the load csv file our data set enter for the CSV file save format. So the load for the file in R Studio. So next for the checking the first few rows to the confirm the loaded data set. So enter the command for the head. Okay, loaded. So the next one for the convert month to date format in our data set so enter the command the next one for the step create time series object so the next command for the plant the time series enter so the created for the 
monthly wise frog population in 2022 2024 so this is for the monthly wise populations the frog count for the y axis and year for the month wise in x axis so the next one comment for the adf test for the time series in frog populations okay the augment dikely floor test the data set for the dikely floor the value minus 5.9414 the lake order 3 the p value 0.01 so this is a warning messages for the p value similar than printed p value just mean it is similar than a 0 0.01 so it is highly significant the no problem here so the next one for the decomposed time series the data plot created in our studio so this is the decomposition of additive time series so observed trend and seasonal and random the four graph created in the single diagram so the time for the excesses so the next one for the seasonal adjustment okay the command okay the seasonally adjustment for the time series the ts adjustment and the time for the excesses next one command for the fit r r a r i m a model automatically so the command for the a r i m a so this is a value for the series ts frog the populations a r i m a the value 0 0 0 0 1 1 12 with drafts the coefficients value for the so, SMA 1 and draft the standard error value 0 0.3601 and draft for standard error value 0 0.0982 the sigma square value 189.4 the log likelihood value minus 197.72 AEC value 401 and AICC value 401.98 BAC value 407.04 so the next for the forecasting of the next 12 month so the command purple the frog populations forecast for the next year for the 2016 so 2015 to 2016 the next year populations growth for the mentioned to the this graph for the frog populations forecast of the next year so the next one comment for the plot residuals okay this is for the residual from a r i m a graphs so the a f c the graph and residuals graph the lock so this is for the time series analysis so the last one for the save to the forecast frog populations the data so enter the command write csv then click to the enter so our file is saved the view on the file our directory so open the our directory so this is our saved to the project of the time series analysis in r studio so this is for the save csc format for the frog populations forecast so open the file so this is for the point forecast value the 2015 for the january to december so the um, con
confidence interval for the 90 percentage and 95 uh, 80 percentage and 95 percentage the low confidence interval for the 80 percentage and high confidence interval for the 80 percentage the low confidence interval for the 95 percentage and high confidence interval for the 95 percentage so this is for the analyzing method in the time series for the r studio in biological data sample if you any doubt on this video leave me comments in the comment box i will reply to you and uh, if you like this video click to the subscription button and support to me join to our channel membership then i will upload for the full code and the data set file upload our blocker page then uh, blocker page link mentioned to the this video description box visit to our blocker page then supported our blocker thank you for watching this video